Uh, James Akers here, the tie guy. Happy Monday morning. It is Monday, April 19th. It's actually my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Michelle. Love you. Uh, today we're going to be tying a beautiful um, Isaiah blue tie with some white striping. has some uh, some crossing patterns. It's a, it's a light blue tie with some dark blue stripes going across the agonal and then of course some cross stitching. It creates kind of like a, kind of almost like a, a, a lattice work. It's a beautiful tie. It is by Isaia, which is a uh, very, very, very good Italian brand out of Naples, Italy. This is one of their, what they call their seven-fold ties. It's been uh, hand-folded seven times. And I always tell people when we do with hand-folded ties, usually the, the creases are not perfect lineups. You know, like a factory tie would be real close together. There's usually a little gap on a hand-folded tie. Um, but as far as the review goes, Isaia products are very, very good products. They're handmade in uh, Naples, Italy. Uh, their logo is a red coral. We've talked about this on my previous videos. Uh, the Nepalese people believe that red coral is a good luck charm, and so Isaia, when it was started uh, a long time ago, uh, they used that as their as their logo. And so all my Isaia shirts have a little red coral somewhere on them. It's usually hidden away. I have one of their dress shirts. The coral's right here. So when you button up the shirt, the coral disappears. But if you unbutton it, two buttons, it's there. It's really cool. But the tie itself, as far as review, it's a thicker tie. Um, it's got a pretty thick texture to it. Really nice soft silk. It feels a lot like a Ferragamo as far as the smoothness of the silk, but about twice as thick as a Ferragamo. Uh, very well uh, uh, constructed tie. The silk, you know, obviously just lays down as you go through it. And when I do this, when you see me guys do this, some of your cheaper ties that are made of cheaper materials are, are high in starch or have a really rigid material where that you can lay the tie across your, it, it lays like this, even if you go this way with it, the, the tie just keeps sticking out. So I like to take a tie and kind of run it across my hand like this. And that tells me it's a really good feel, a good quality silk because it just lays down, uh, you know, its natural state and its gravity pull it down. So let's tie this thing up. We'll see what it looks like. We're pairing this day with a pink shirt and a light blue suit. And it should come together real nice here in the end. We'll go across the look at the end of the video. Because it's a thicker tie, we have to go um, a little bit down on the uh, on the spot. So we're going to give plenty of space here on our spot. Uh, get it wrapped around the back of the neck and I'm going to come in closer. We'll tie it up. You take the long part of the tie. You bring out over top. And then you come around behind, up and through. Then you come back around behind, back up and over and through. This tie feels so good when tied. It's got to taste like butter when tied. It's, it's such a soft silk and where it's thick, when you, it just kind of gets in your fingers and it's like, ooh, I love, love, love this tie. So um, Isaia makes a very good product. This I call a checkpoint. We want to make sure we have a little triangle going on here. Now we're going to take the back of the tie or the long part of the tie out over top, around the front, up behind and through. And now we'll create this little flap right here, this little pocket. We're going to tuck the tie down through that. Hold on to the top of the pocket, pull the tie through, and now we're going to adjust our knot. We're going to take and hold on to the knot, and we're going to pull on the long part of the tie to tighten it, and then we're going to pull on short, the shorter part of the tie and hold on to the knot to bring it up to our neck. And we want to check our length. We want the tip of the tie, this part of the tie right here, to come somewhere between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. It should never be short of the belt buckle, but it can be a little bit long, it's fine. So now we can see this is hanging about halfway down the belt buckle, so it's absolutely perfect. Let's pull the collar down, and let's see how this comes together. Do our final adjustments here. I'm just going to tighten this knot up and get it real nice and tight here. I don't like any slack here, and I'd like the, the, the tie to be a triangle and symmetrical with the collar. Now, this is a Brooks Brothers shirt, so I have collar stays in the collar that keep the collar nice and you know pointed down the way I want it to be pointed down. The look is going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen there, and I'm going to go over it with you right now. Get my jacket on. Tuck this back in, in the flap in, the, in behind. Okay, we have on a blue Amerna Gildo Zinnia suit. We have on a pink Brooks Brothers shirt. We have an Isaia tie that is blue with some lattice work, some diagonal different uh, uh, colors of stripes, different shades of blue. And then we have on a brown Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a gold belt buckle. We're pairing that today with a pair of brown Salvatore Ferragamo Oxfords. On my Instagram, it's at the bottom of your screen right now, on my Instagram, which is Ty Guy James Acres, there are close-ups of the shoes with the belt, close-ups of the whole outfit kind of arranged together. There's going to be selfies with me with the tie and close-ups of the knot, so you can and, and close-ups of the tie, so you can see the detail of the tie and everything else. Go to my Instagram, Ty Guy James Acres. Guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Please click on like and subscribe, but I am ready for work.